Welcome to this video guide intended for use alongside the first lesson in a series of resources on the PCR process. This first video will guide you in collecting and preparing a DNA sample that can then be used later on in the PCR process. For this lesson you will need 3 millilitres of 0.9% saline solution. The Instagene matrix. A microcentrifuge tube. A 100 to 1000 microliter pipette. A smaller pipette capable of pipetting a 20 microliter volume. When starting the experiment, ensure that you have two screw cap tubes, one containing 3 milliliters of 0.9% saline solution and the other one containing the instagene matrix. Make sure to label these tubes with your initials so that they do not become mixed up with other students in the class and there is no confusion of samples. The DNA that is used in this practical will be collected from your cheek cells. Gently chew the insides of your cheeks for around 10 seconds in order to dislodge cells for collection. It is important that you have not eaten directly before doing this, as this will have an effect on the number of cells that can be collected. Note that chewing the insides of your cheeks should not result in any blood being drawn. When you have done this, take the 3 millilitres of 0.9 saline solution and swill vigorously in your mouth for around 30 seconds. Expel the saline back into the screw cap tube. Note that a cup can be used here if this is easier. For the next stage, a centrifuge will be used to obtain a concentrated sample of your cheek cells from the saline solution. However, the experiment can still be run without a centrifuge, so don't worry if you do not have one. Take the 100 to 1000 microliter pipette and make sure that the tip is on the end securely. Set the pipette to 1 milliliter using the adjustment dial at the top. Using the pipette, take 1 milliliter of your expelled saline solution and place it into a microcentrifuge tube. Discard the pipette tip to avoid cross-contamination. As before, it is a good idea to label the microcentrifuge tubes to stop samples from different students becoming mixed up. When putting the tubes into the centrifuge, it is important that the centrifuge is balanced. In this case, another tube containing one milliliter of water has been placed directly opposite our sample. It is also important to ensure that the hinge of the microcentrifuge tube points to the outside. This all ensures that the centrifuge spins evenly. Close the lid and set the sample to spin for 5 minutes at full speed. When the centrifuge has finished running, the lid will pop up, enabling you to remove your microcentrifuge tube. Make sure to take the microcentrifuge tube that contains your own DNA. When you remove your microcentrifuge tube, you should see a match head sized milky white pellet at the bottom of your sample tube. These are your cells. Using the same 100 to 1000 microliter pipette as before, but with a new tip, remove the saline supernatant from the tube, making sure not to remove the cell pellet at the bottom. It is okay to leave a small amount of the saline supernatant in the tube. Discard the removed saline supernatant. The microcentrifuge tube then needs to be flicked or shaken until the cells are resuspended. Now, using a smaller micropipette, take 20 microliters of your cell solution and add it to another pre prepared microcentrifuge tube containing 200 microliters of the instagene matrix. Alternatively, the instagene matrix can be added to the cell solution. It does not matter which order the components are added as long as your new microcentrifuge tube contains 20 microliters of your cell solution and 200 microliters of the instagene matrix. 
Shake or vortex the tube to mix the contents and then place in a water bath or dry bath set to 56 degrees Celsius. After 5 minutes, remove the tube and shake or flick to resuspend the cells. Place the tube back in the bath for another 5 minutes and again after 5 minutes, remove and shake or flick. Next add the tube to another water bath at 100 degrees Celsius. This temperature should lyse the cells in the solution and release your DNA of interest that will be used in the next lesson. After 5 minutes, remove the tube from the water bath and place the microcentrifuge tube in the centrifuge using the same guidelines as earlier in the video, i.e. making sure that the centrifuge is balanced. Again, run the centrifuge for 5 minutes. When this is complete, remove the microcentrifuge tube and place it in the fridge in preparation for lesson 2. This is the end of lesson 1. This resource was created at the University of Bath by two natural sciences students, Ben Evans and Ella Baskerville.